Hi, my name is Elise Ivey. You may know me as a QEC host, but what you may not realize is that I'm actually certified in personal training, Pilates, and yoga. So I'm really honored today to take you through a very gentle yoga flow. Go at your own pace. You can make it a little easier or a little harder, whatever works for you. And of course, always consult with your physician before starting this or any exercise program. So I've chosen to start with my legs crossed. If this is comfortable for you, you can do the same or sit any way that's comfortable. You can also prop yourself up if that helps. I'm gonna start with my hands right on my thighs and just start with three big deep breaths going in through the nose and out through the mouth. We'll go ahead and inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. I like to take that time at the beginning just to get centered. This is a really good time to set an intention or a mantra, if you will. The way I like to think of a mantra is a short phrase of something that makes me feel good, a positive affirmation, if you will. An example of a mantra that I'm going to use today is something as simple as, I am, and then fill in the blank. So for me, I'm going to choose, I am love. So let's take those breaths, and on the inhale, think to yourself, I am, and on the exhale, think to yourself the word of your choice. And if you choose to do yoga today without a mantra, just focus on your breath. We inhale, I am, exhale through the mouth, I think love. Inhale, exhale. And one more, a big deep inhale, and exhale through the mouth. You can maintain that throughout your yoga practice. From here, we're gonna reach one arm out and one arm up and take a side bend over to start stretching out the side body. Take a big inhale here and exhale, lift center and your flow is beginning. Inhale up. And exhale back center, and we'll do one more each side. Now at home, practicing, if you wanna do a few more repetitions, please do so. For sake of time, I'm just going to do two. We reach up and over. And back to center, good. From here, I'm gonna inhale, reach my arms up, I am. I'm gonna exhale, come down through heart center, love, and I'm gonna reach forward now, reaching my fingertips out as far as I can, dropping my head and feeling the stretch through my hips. Come on back up to center, switch the legs so you get a different cross. Inhale the arms up, I am. Exhale, love, and take it out for a stretch. Good. And back to center. You can bring the heart's hands to your heart center here and take just a beat. We're gonna move into our hands and knees. So we move to our hands and knees. You wanna make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. From here, we start to undulate the spine or warm up the spine with cat-cow. From here, Lift the spine to the ceiling, pull the belly button up, drop the chin to the chest. That's cat. Exhale, release into cow. Drop the belly button down, lift the chin high, and repeat. We warm up the spine this way with a big inhale and exhale. And we'll just do one more 
a big inhale. Good. And exhale. Coming back to center. From here, extend your right leg back. Push your toes into the mat and push your heel back. So now you're feeling a stretch in the back of your calf, your right calf. If you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, extend the left arm out and hold, engaging the abs and pulling the belly button up. Make sure that all five fingers are pressing into the mat. Release and come back to center and switch sides. Your other foot extends, toes are down, push through the heel, get that stretch in the calf. You can stay right here or extend the right arm out. Remember to keep the neck long by looking down at your mat and back to center. From here, we're going to stretch the feet. So bring the knees together, walk up to your knees, push the toes down. From here, sit back on the heels if you can and take a few deep breaths. This is a big stretch in the arches of the feet. And if it's just too much for you, you can go ahead and fold the feet down. You'll get a stretch on the top of the feet that way. So we'll just hold for three breaths. A great chance to check in with your mantra. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hands come back down. From here, we're going to lift into our first downward facing dog. Lift the hips up to the ceiling. Press the heels down towards the floor. It's okay if they don't touch right now. Neck is long. Fingers are pressing into the mat. Heart is pressing towards the thighs. Hold there. Go ahead and bend one knee, straighten the other and push the heel into the mat, and then switch. Remembering to breathe, let's switch and pedal the feet for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend both knees. Exhale, straighten the legs, push those heels down, drop the shoulders. Excellent. Big inhale. Big exhale. Walk the feet to the hands. Feel nice and grounded and hold in a forward fold. If this is easy for you, Clasp elbows and breathe. If this is hard for you, bend the knees and rest the chest on the thighs. Either way, have a nice long neck and breathe. If you'd like to try straightening one leg and then the other, that can help with flexibility. From here, we're going to inhale, rise all the way up. Bring the hands overhead and back to heart center. One more big inhale, rise, I am. Exhale to the heart, love. From here, bring the hands right back up overhead, inhale. And we're going to exhale over to the side, stretching out the side body and right back up to center. Reset by bringing the hands to heart center. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale over to the side. Press the opposite foot into the mat and back up to center. While we're here, little tiny back bend, looking up at the ceiling and bringing the heart to center. Good, let's go into a few sun salutations. From here. Start up at the top of your mat. Make sure that your feet are firmly planted below your hips and that your toes are splayed. Inhale, lift the arms up. 
Exhale, come through heart center into your forward fold. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lift halfway into a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. And this time, bring that right foot back and left foot back. Stay here or come to your knees. Bend at the elbows. Come all the way to the floor on your belly and hold. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Engage the abs, lift the belly button up, pull the waistline in, and give me a baby cobra. Neck is staying long. From here, relax and press back to child's pose. Your choice with child's pose, you can either keep the feet together and the knees together, or you can splay the knees out wide and take the chest between the legs. From here, back to all fours. We tuck the toes, lift back up to downward facing dog. Walk forward to your hands, hang low. Inhale, rise, I am. Exhale, come through heart center, love. All the way down. Halfway lift and hold. Exhale, plant the hands. This time step the other foot back. And we'll hold in plank if you can, knees are fine. This time coming forward, pull the abs in. Bend at the elbows for chaturanga. Let's take it all the way to the floor for a little cobra. Shoulders are down. Go ahead and release. Press back to child's pose. Back to all fours and to downward facing dog. One more time. We walk forward. We plant the feet. We inhale up, thinking our mantra in our minds. Exhale down through heart center. Hands to the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Back to your push-up or plank position. This time, come forward. Bend down for chaturanga. We take it into upward facing dog or cobra, shoulders down, heart lifted high, thighs lifted off the mat. Press right back into downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Walk forward, inhale all the way up, exhale heart center. Okay. From here, let's take it into a balancing pose. Balancing poses can sometimes be the most challenging poses in yoga. So I chose tree pose today because I love the stability. I love how sturdy a tree is. I love how it's strong, but it's also malleable in the way that it can sway with the weather. So let's go ahead and plant our feet firmly, splay the toes out, engage the abs and tuck the tailbone just a little bit. From here, keep one foot planted, take the other one by the ankle and hold. If you like, you can bring it up to the calf muscle and hold, or you can take it a little further and go to the thigh. Try to avoid the knee, but you do have ankle, calf, or thigh as an option. Now with the arms, your choice. Inhale, rise, and hold. You could take hands to heart center. You could clasp the hands behind the back. You can do whatever feels comfortable and safe to you. Make sure that you're pressing your foot into your thigh and your thigh equally into your foot. And if you feel some balance checks, that's okay. 
One more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's switch. One side may feel different than the other, and that's okay. Have a nice sturdy base, just like your tree. And then your choice, ankle, calf, or all the way up to your thigh. Pressing the foot into the thigh and the thigh into the foot. We pull the abs in, tuck that tailbone, and you choose what feels good for you with your arms. Up, heart center, out, behind you, whatever feels good to you. One more big inhale, and exhale. Remember, you can always do that holding onto a chair or a wall, because of course balancing is definitely a challenge. All right, let's move to the floor. Take a seat with your legs out in front of you. From here, bend one knee, cross it over your leg, Take the opposite arm up, cross it over the knee, bring one hand back, and turn. This is your twist. If it's uncomfortable for you with your neck, you can look forward. But if you want a deeper twist, you can look back. Drop that back shoulder. Let's unwind. Cross the other leg over, inhale your arm up, exhale, give it a twist, look towards the back hand if you can, drop the back shoulder. Couple deep breaths. Back to center. Now lift up, get situated on your sits bones there. Flex your feet towards your nose, toes towards your nose. Inhale the arms up and exhale forward fold. If you reach your toes, wonderful. If you don't, that's okay. And go ahead and release the neck. Inhale. Exhale a little further. Inhale. Exhale a little further reaching your heart towards your shins. And come all the way back up. It's time for Shavasana. It's one of my favorite poses. Shavasana is a great opportunity to just let this entire practice sink in. This is your chance. If you like, you can say your mantra a couple more times and then totally release it. So your choice with Shavasana, you can lay all the way on your back, palms up, legs out, or I'm gonna choose to do it seated so I can guide you. Totally up to you and what makes you feel most comfortable. I'll guide you through from your toes all the way up to your scalp. We're gonna relax each step of the way. So choose your position. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose out through the mouth and settle. Know that you're held by Mother Nature and supported by the earth and we breathe. As I mentioned, each body part, make a conscious effort to relax that part starting with your toes and the ball of your foot, the arches, the heel, the ankle, the calf and the shins, the knee. Relax the top of the leg, the quadricep, the back of the leg, the hamstring, the glutes, the pelvis, the abdomen. Let the belly button drop. 
your lower back, your rib cage, your sternum and your heart, your upper back and shoulder blades, your traps, your shoulders, your upper arms and elbows, your forearms, your hands, your fingers, the front of your neck, your throat, your back of your neck, the back of your head lays heavy, your jaw relaxes, your chin, your lips, your nose, your eyes, your forehead, and the crown of your head. Big inhale. Sigh it out. If you're on your back, roll to your right side. Slowly sit up. Join me in a seated position. Bring your arms all the way up for an inhale. Exhale to heart center. Remember your mantra. Thank yourself for being here. And I thank you. Namaste.